You know? But it hurt me to see everybody sitting up there pointing fingers at me, sitting up there letting no no love and sit up there and make all these. You, first of all, I thought he was coming to me as a friend, as a partner, a business partner, somebody that can mentor me and talk to me and actually see that I'm okay. I didn't tell him to put that on there. And that stirred up a lot of more stuff. You see what I'm saying? I, I got text messages of me telling him to take it down. He promised me he was going to take it down. But guess what y'all failed to realize what he did? He did it for clout. Through the storm in the rain. That voice you just heard was Dominique Davis. I'm off my daughter. My daughter's in the house, and I know she's in there. And I want my daughter. I want my daughter. It all lab. I want my daughter. All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. So listen, man, before I move forward into this video, I want to do two things. I want to start this off by saying RIP to this young lady by the name of Dominique Davis. And I want to send my condolences out to each and everybody out there that love her genuinely and had a genuine love for her. You know, friends, family, especially her mother. You know, like I said before in the other video, just to see her mother the way that she was really, really touched me a lot, you know. And for her to actually have that feeling like her daughter was already gone. I know that's got to be a bad and sickening feeling, you know. The second thing I want to do is start it off by sending some positive energy out there to each and everybody that's supporting this channel in any way, shape, form, or fashion. If you're hitting the like button, if you sharing the videos, whatever the case may be, I appreciate y'all genuinely. I got a real good support system on here, and I appreciate that. Real recognized, real, you know. And um, I just want to tell y'all, I appreciate y'all. And even if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you too. But other than that, I don't see what I had to say about that. Let's get straight back into this important story. So basically, long story short, for those who don't know what's going on or need a brief synopsis of the whole situation, I'm going to break it down to y'all real quick. But it's going to be quick because I don't have time to rerun everything all over again. But I am going to add what took place at the end of this video so y'all can get a good understanding for those who don't know what the hell is going on. But basically, long story short, Dominique Davis was living in Las Vegas. She came back to actually visit her family, spend time with her family and her boyfriend for the new year. Now, long story short, she ended up coming up missing. But beforehand, she went live with her boyfriend and a lot of people are speculating certain things due to the fact of the nature of that video that live video i'm gonna put that in here as well so y'all can watch that also but it's just a sad and sick situation to the point where nobody knows nothing allegedly now i'm gonna tell y'all the truth i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all it's some shit in the game somewhere somebody knows something i'm trying i'm not trying to say that the dude did it because it ain't no physical evidence pointing to him but it's certain things that people are catching and saying about him that's really eye raising you know what i'm saying and if dude didn't do nothing I feel like he do know something. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. I'm not putting this on this man because that's some crazy shit to do to put allegations on a man. You know, sometimes I being on the platform and things like this, saying that a person did something and we don't know, so I'm not going to do that. But I do want to say that if somebody didn't do something, somebody knows something. And we're going to leave it at that. But other than that, you know, she was coming down here and uh, she was just talking about how her life was going the right way. She was just at peace and things like that you know just some real heartwarming things that she was stating before she passed away and for her to lose her life like this in the matter that her life was taken it just don't make no sense to me why people moving like that now it's speculations where the guy said that he put her out of the car it's a lot of different things i'm gonna let y'all really listen and for those who do know y'all can let people know what's going on in the comment section so i ain't got to sit back and type to everybody because y'all know i'm real active in my comment section but Make sure that uh, y'all paying attention to what's being said by the dude. He was in actually getting interviewed by uh, Finesse two times, brother. Damn, what's cuz name? Oh, uh, shit. Uh, no Love. Yeah, he was getting um, interviewed by No Love. No Love was on that nigga ass, boy. <laughs> no Love was on that nigga ass, bro. He was getting some good information, you know, some real you know good good questions in man and some of the things was kind of eye raising like i said before but we're gonna go ahead and get into the video i got a video of him responding to all of the allegations and shit like that and uh yeah somebody tagged me on facebook i really do appreciate that i will say your name but i don't want nobody picking and trolling at you or nothing like that thank you to the people who sent it to me in my inbox anybody that see anything that y'all want me to speak about and shit like that just send it to me i'm gonna get to it as fast as i can but other than that let's get straight into this i done gave y'all a brief summary i done ran this shit back down to y'all and uh yeah she was supposed to go to church and she didn't end up going to church and that's when her mother just had that feeling and she you know a mother's intuition is something you know but let's get back into it and she already lost a child man it's just 
Man, my heart goes out to you, man. For real. Let's get into this, though. Let's see what the hell he got to say. Uh, I'm not saying he did it now, but shit, somebody knows something. It might be him who knows something. Allegedly. My boy, what I doing? Let's get to it, my boy. I might fast forward some of this so we can get straight to it. My boy, what are hitting that, hitting that square that red or something over there? He said they got into it. Mm hmm. Ain't no excuse. I don't give a damn. That's how a lot of people come up dead, too, after they got into it with the spouse. I'm just saying. I ain't saying you did it, cuz, but shit. I'm going on live to speak my truth and put the public at ease that I am not a fugitive. I have not been captured, never arrested for the disappearance of Dominique. I have not been downtown for questions. I cooperated with the police and to find the Dominique. Alright. I want to clear up something up. Clear a lot of stuff up. It's cut, um, read. who I am because my character has been slandered and my family has been. Now, cuz is reading this, bro. <laughs> hey, he. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you now. If I ain't did shit, bro, I ain't got to read a goddamn thing. This shit coming from the heart. I'm gonna tell you exactly what the hell going on. Piece by piece, if I do that. Now, I, I can feel two different ways about it. Because sometimes I feel like you don't owe nobody no explanation when you're not wrong. But when it comes to somebody's life being taken, yeah, you owe them an explanation. But I don't feel like you should be reading this shit. It should be straight from the heart. But hey, we don't know. This dude can possibly say certain things that could get him in some trouble. So somebody around here probably trying to do some PR type shit and make sure that he is saying and articulating himself the correct way. Which, you know, it's, it's fair. I got to be unbiased in this because we don't know. But <laughs> reading this shit is crazy, ain't it? having death threats and more going on with all of this situation. I am now homeless and unemployed due to Aunt No Love recording me privately <laughs> on conversations that was edited thinking that he was my partner and my friend. Yeah. But he ain't. Clearly. What the paper really say? Because we did business together and music and more. Those conversations were edited. Recorded along with other content creators, has told nothing but lies on me mm. and my family. Mm. This part one though, I'm gonna oh, speak nothing but the truth about everything. All right, let's get it. Thank you for all my supporters that's been coming through for me, supporting me and everything. You know, due to the situation. But I'm gonna tell the truth about a lot of stuff that it went on that whole day. Yeah. But that's just this is part one right here, so you know. Alright, so. <laughs> <laughs> that paper hell, boy. This shit got me tickled, man. <laughs> he reading them comments. I bet they on his ass in them comments. Man, boy, I hope you didn't kill that girl, man. <laughs> You're gonna look crazy. Of course. What's going on? What the fuck happening? He thinking? Did you have anything to do with Dominique's disappearance? Cuz getting interviewed? No. <laughs> I ain't had nothing to do with her disappearance at all. Mm. No, I ain't had nothing to do with it. Nothing. Somebody knows something though. I don't give a damn. Somebody knows something. Man, that shit gone. What 
It's only one question. Yeah, I sure keep sharing, keep sharing, share, share the live, share the live, because I want everybody to know. I want everybody to know. I want y'all to stay tuned because it's deeper than what y'all think and expect or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. I hear you, cuz. It's deep. Yeah, I'm innocent. I've been innocent from when I was trying to tell y'all when I was on the phone. The first time, I talked to the police several times. I even, I helped with the case, but matter of fact, I helped with the case and to find her. I, I, I released, they didn't even have to uh, come with a warrant when they said, can I search your truck? Can I search your building? Can I search, can I get your phone? I told, here, take, take it. Like, we can even go down there and go take a lot of tech tests. I had nothing to do with it. I don't know if the plot was for me to get Got that day, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Excuse my French. I apologize for cussing, but I don't know the plot. Who that? What? What? Who was it for? I don't know what. Who was watching me? I don't know what happened. But it's gonna be a part two to the conversation, and part three. It's, it's it's a long story because I feel like I should get this story out, and I don't want nobody else to go through the situation that I've been through or what I went through. So, um. I've been close to God before. This situation, I've been in the Bible. That veto name is just for entertainment, uh, rapping and stuff like that. Me, you know, that's not really me. That's not really my image. If you really know me, you know me for loving animals and giving my last to a person that you, you know if you need or something. I always help the people. I always have my. I always get the last end of the stick. But yeah, I'm, yeah. This right here put a whole dent in my career, my business that I had going on, you know, behind closed doors. I had my own business and stuff like that, even though I was working for my parents. I had never been silver spoon fed. Everything that I owned or had, I bought it on my own. Um, but Vito is not, that's not who I am. You know, Vincent is who I am, you know. I was raised from a good family. I was brought up in the church. Um... You know, I just feel like what happened to me wasn't fair. But, you know, like God says, if you tear it down, you're going to receive more. I'm the type of person that I'm, uh, don't throw the rock and hide your hand. That's the type of person I am. Don't throw the rock and hide your hand because a lot of people went within on who I was and never even got to meet, meet me or get to know who I am as a person. I'm a lover. I am. I, I don't do nothing but love strong. I love hard. Um, and what me and Dominique had together when we was together, the little time we did have, um, I felt like it was really love. I did. I did. I really did. I felt like I was in love. Like, who goes with, with her and be out and to let somebody be with like her time. The last time she was here with me, she only, we only seen each other twice. I only seen each other twice. Christmas time, she was with me. On the 31st, that was the last time I seen That's what got a lot of people misconstrued. It's like, shit, if you didn't know her, how can you say you loved her? And that's why people are so quick to say that you did something because it's certain shit that you're saying that don't really sound right. Now, I know people can fall in love easily. That's why I'm not trying to write that off 100%. But it's like, come on now, because some, some, some shit that you're saying just really just don't, it don't sit right. Now, it ain't it might not it might not be a lie, but damn, cuz come on now. Shit, I don't know. Somebody knows something. Could tell you saying that it's a slogan for this video and all that got something to do with this situation. Somebody knows something. The shit gonna come out, it's gonna probably shock the world. Let's get back to it though. It hurt. But I gotta be strong for myself too, because now look at me, I'm homeless. So I really don't know what to say. Like, I lost everything. I can't even drive to go find a job. I can't even. It's certain things that I can't even do no more. Like, my life ain't even normal no more. Like, but the energy everybody put into to negative and don't even get the answers to uh, uh, know the truth about the situation. About me saying that I dropped her off right here, put her out of my car right here, she walking out the other way. All of this is on camera, me pulling up, going home. And when I made it home, I left the door open for her to come back, come in the house when she got out the truck. 
But see, by me being on probation and me thinking small, like I can't get in no altercation. I'm drunk, she drunk. I'm driving, she reaching for the steering wheel trying to distract me and argue with me. I can't get my life involved in this situation. But I'm the bad man, though, you know. That hurt me. You know, I don't have nothing to do with happened afterwards when she got out of my car. She on camera getting out of my car. It's on camera me tossing the phone on the ground. It's like... It was a two minute walk. Make it make sense. But I'm but I'm I'm the bad guy. I'm the, uh 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 what they say, I, I I'm a kidnapper. Let's get that straight. First of all, I signed for kidnapping. I pulled off with my kids. I ain't never kidnapped nobody. So Vito, that, that that's not even a real person. Vincent is who I am. So all of the talk about some I, the messy battles, all of that stuff. I ain't picked up a case in six, seven years. I ain't been to jail in about six or five years. I go to work every day. Well, I was going to work every day. You know? But it hurt me to see everybody sitting up there pointing fingers at me, sitting up there letting no, no love and sit up there and make all of these. First of all, I thought he was coming to me as a friend, as a partner, a business partner, somebody that can mentor me and talk to me and actually see that I'm okay. I didn't tell him to put that on there. And that stirred up a lot of most stuff. You see what I'm saying? I, I got text messages of me telling him to take it down. He promised me he was going to take it down. But guess what y'all failed to realize what he did? He did it for clout. He did it for clout. So when I get to suing all my, my lawyer building this big ass case up. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna even bring it up. That. Now that phone, all that shit, that, that secret recording, I mean, that's something that you can give somebody a charge for, but anybody having any type of, you know, opinion on this shit when it's public information, it ain't no case, bro. You really gotta be defaming somebody's character in totality. That's why allegedly it's always good when you're using in certain situations because people be trying to say certain shit and trying to put certain things on other people and that ain't what's up. But I think all of this could have been avoided if you would have did the proper things as far as like dropping her off where she needs to be dropped off at. If what he said is the truth. But, you know, I feel like that a lot of people be feeling to realize that, you know, shit, once you're in the public's eye, it ain't too much that you can do about people speaking on you, bro. People gonna do what the hell they wanna do. I mean, shit, and anybody can sue anybody for anything. You can sue somebody for a dollar, 50 cents, any goddamn thing you want to, but, I mean, come on now, is the case really gonna get somewhere? That's the real thing. Now, like I said before, recording somebody secretly and things like that is a crime in certain states and stuff like that and actually posting it, but anything else after that, if they are actually covering themselves and saying something as far as like allegedly and things like that, they just not necessarily like point a finger at you. You really can't do nothing about it because it's all speculations and it's public, it's public knowledge and people are entitled to say certain things now as far as slandering and shit like that anybody who out there just talking but yeah that shit can be a, a case too but just give an opinion nah i just gotta throw that out there you know hey i just gotta say what i got to say let's get back into it it's matthew Ooh, that what is what's the other late name that is matthew Ooh, that is uh, what, what's the other late name i, I don't even got a name right there but to one to one you get you getting it too mm. everybody got everybody got what you said you want my head on the plot about something you you putting you you turn you 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 putting my life in, in jeopardy over some stuff that I didn't have nothing to do with it. Talking about some, you want my head on the plow. I got family too. I got I got kids too. I got a mama that love me. I'm not no bad person. You put you putting all these words on my back, trying to make me look like something that I'm not. If I was held accountable for that murder, I would have been down there. I would have been got like the man y'all making faith. Only thing I got on me is vandalism. I can tell you what I did that for. What, what, what I did that for. But I ain't here. Speak, speak the truth. Yeah, I'm hurt. Any question? You know, any more thing else you got? You want to know about the situation? <sighs> Was Dominique living with you, or was she just down here visiting? Um, when Dominique was in uh, Vegas, we had came up to a conclusion, and I was like, yeah, I want you to be there with me. And so she ended up bringing her things 
Well, two luggages and you know, a couple bags, some shoes and stuff like that. She was she was moving in with me. Yeah, we were staying together. We was, yeah, we was back to build something together and stuff like that, you know. So did you think that you were the only person that she was talking to at the time or did she reveal to you anything else? I mean, Dominique. When she got down I, here? When she got, when she got, before she even got down her shoes, I already saying like she had something to tell me like, uh, when she get down her and stuff like that and who else she was talking to, she was talking to this one dude, she was like, he, you know, he in and out, lying about, you know, look. Was that on, was that in Vegas? Or that was in Vegas. Vegas. She was already telling me about the dude that she was talking to, you know what I'm saying? And other people that she associated with, but her mind interest was stuck on me. But she didn't tell you, when did she tell you that she had, that she was married? She told me she was married when she, when she got down and she told me she was married. That was what she was like, she gonna tell me, she wanna tell me something in person. She, I might not be interested in her, cause you know, I had proposed to her and we had, we was talking about getting engaged and I was gonna buy each other a ring and stuff like that, but she was like, wait on me, she gotta tell me something. So when she got down here, she was like, she was married. And I was like, shit, fuck this shit. Let's go, on. you know, we're going to still do what it do. I mean, I'm still like, you know, there ain't nothing that we can fix. We can fix that, so. Um, yeah. What's going on? Something about pregnancy or something. What, how, how did that even come up? Well, when she went back uh, on Tuesday, you know, it was Tuesday. Um, when she left from Christmas, on, around Christmas on that next Tuesday following. She got on the flight and, you know, I tell nothing but the truth and the whole truth and I'm spiritual, so I had got on tar, tar, what is it, that tar read and stuff like that, so uh, I was looking it up and so some asked me to ask her, you know what I'm saying, like, cause when I be looking up on YouTube, I be looking up like, uh, like Zodiac sign, you know, stuff like that, but anyway, um, I asked her when she got her the, the next time and she had a little push, she was like, if she is pregnant, we're going to take her. And I was like, oh, you know, she was telling me about that right there. So I wow. really didn't know. You but she know told she me she had a miscarriage before. She did tell me she had a miscarriage before. And, you know, and she was like, if she is pregnant, we're going to take her. You know? So you was just all in. You My, all yeah, in. I, was, I, I, I was all in, like, okay. in there, yeah. Oh, so how old is how old is Dominique? Dominique forty. I'm thirty. You're thirty. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, but uh, um. so one question that we're gonna put, we're gonna go into detail on all your other parts because it's so much. I mean, your life has been altered. I don't want to just give so it all, all out. out. It's not enough time, it's not enough that. time to get everybody so, like, yeah, what y'all child missing on in the truth, like. Yeah. So, um, um, did you harm Dominique? Nah. Do you know who done, who have harmed Dominique? Nah, I don't know about who harmed Dominique, but I know, I don't, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know who harmed, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't. At the end of the day, I don't, but I just know. So just real quick, um, because the people want to know before you get into detail, um, when you kept saying on that love uh, <sighs> conversation with that love person, um, when you kept saying they, they, they said, they said, they said they found this, they said they found her 
dead. They who were you talking about when you were saying uh, they? They on the part when I was saying they said they said. Um, well, yeah, they was on. Yeah, they was uh, on that part. On they said. Well, the target, the the lady, the lady. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all about the they said. When I said they said, they said. Okay, like I told y'all, I'm spiritual and I believe in psychic readers. So I called the lady next door that owned the next building that's, that's a fortune teller. She tell you about your life and all of that. So I called her and she had other people on the phone. We was trying to figure out what happened to such and such what Dominique. And so the lady was like, she told me basically like a description of what happened and stuff like that about it was a two black men approached her they put her in the car or whatever blase blase but uh that's what the, that part is about what that what they said well, well who was he talking about what they say they say i'm talking about the damn tarian psychic reader that's right there on the same corner where my house was at right there so that's what i'm talking about right there on that part so after when the police came to your house and said that she was missing, you went to terror readers or whatever to figure out what happened to her. Exactly. I went to terror readers to find out. And I've been putting it on there like, the, I guess, you know, because it expired me and it it, it kind of gave me like uh, relief on what did happen. Because like I said, I was in love with her and I did want to build something. And like... I just feel like it wasn't fair, like, about the whole situation. And people falsely accused and trying to point things at me, and I'm on camera literally doing what I felt, what I said I did. Like, I ain't, I ain't no fireplace over there. I ain't worried about no battle what they talking about. I ain't worried about none of it. I ain't worried about it. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to say, I ain't reading it. So your truth is what happened? What happened? What happened while Dominique was in your care? The last thing that you, what happened to her? What you, what scene? What was the last thing that the cameras, everything, see her doing? Getting out of my truck and me tossing the phone. I never did get out the truck. I opened the door. She got out the truck. I tossed the phone out the car. I pulled off. I mean, not even two minutes or three minutes. Shit, I turned in my driveway, parked my truck. Got out the truck, locked the gate, walked in the house, let the dog out, and um, shit, I left the door open thinking that she was going to walk up, but she never did walk up, and I never left the house until the next day. So, yeah, I was in love. It looked like it. I mean, I ain't no looks to it, shit. I was in love. I just hate how people get on lives and talk about some, see, he jealous. Look, he jealous. How the hell I'm jealous? And they clearly telling me that's their cousin or something like that that passed away. But I don't want to get too much out there like that. I don't want to just, that's part two. That's part two. But, eh, I ain't just... So just to wrap it up, you just wanted to basically yeah, just let wrapping know it up. that there's not no criminal out here. Yeah. Shit. Not for your the, the real criminal still on the loose. Why people sitting up there Bro, I'm not built like that. I'm not I'm not even like my, I can't even hurt an animal. I ain't, I ain't but I love y'all, y'all be good. Stay tuned.
Now, y'all done seen all of that. I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this. I didn't want to keep on interrupting. I wanted everybody to hear what he had to say about it in totality. But overall, like I said before, if somebody knows something, I'm not going to say report the finger at him. And even if it wasn't anything to do with the police, anything like that, or laws, or being sued, and anything like that, I just don't feel right putting shit on people without knowing what the hell really going on with the situation because it's a possibility that it could be him. It could be somebody that he knows. But like I said before, if somebody knows something, and that's what really matters. But overall, man, I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. R.P. to her. She will get justice, I'm sure of that. That, you know, the way that this shit sound and the way things look, I'm pretty sure somebody gonna get some type of answer really, really soon. But overall, I wanna know your thoughts and opinions on this situation. If y'all got any updates on this, let me know if you're a family member and things like that and got you know, something that you wanna say about this. I'll post a video and shit like that just so it can get the exposure that it needs for the most part. Hopefully it does, but you know, it is what it is. But let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're rocking with the content. And I'm gonna show y'all what was previous to this right here, you know, the initial things that took place, the initial live video and all of this finna show right now. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything and I will holler at y'all later on another video. That voice you just heard was Dominique Davis. I'm off my daughter. My daughter's in the house and I know she's in there. And I want my daughter. I want my daughter in or alive. I want my daughter. Memphis police have confirmed of the 40-year-old woman who disappeared the day before New Year's Eve, but her family still has a lot of questions over how Dominique Davis might have been. It's been several days since Dominique Davis was last seen. Now police confirmed she was found near this overpass on Sam Cooper and High Point Terrace. Good morning, y'all. Before y'all move forward into this video, I have ran across a video I think it's Finesse Two Times Brother. He got a video where he's basically interrogating the boyfriend. And I'm going to put that in this video too. It's going to be towards the end. So you can hear what he had to say. And you can see her last live video too. And I want y'all to pay attention to every detail that's being spoke on. Other than that. I'm going to let y'all get into the video. Make sure if you want to know what's going on, just watch it to the end. It's a lot of details that's not included in this, but this right here is basically a 80% a, a summary of everything until the police release everything. But let's get into the video. Now, she, we were supposed to go to church, but shit, I ain't got too drunk. Uh, we were going to go to church at night. So I took her to her mama house. They were me ringing the doorbell because she was already acting out of pocket. So I'm like, hell nah. I'm like, man, please somebody come open the door. This shit on Facebook, lie all this shit. So after did nobody come to the door, I'm like, she told me, I said, nah, don't drop me. I'm like, hell nah, man, I'm finna drop you off. You up here trying to put your hands on me and shit. So I had to shoot all the way back to my house. So I shoot all the way back to my house. She's steady trying to fuck with me while I'm driving. So I'm five minutes away from my house, got a little wing play. So I told her to get out of my motherfucking car. So I let her have my car. I'm on camera letting her have my car. That's why I'm still free right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so I let her have my car. I closed my door. I ain't even get out when I did all this. I just, I just handed her her phone and I, I drove off. So I went even five minutes. I was like three minutes from my house. So I had pulled up. I dropped my truck off. I parked and I had went in the house. I ain't, I, ain't, I let my dog outside and everything. I ain't never where she, back outside. Where she, where she was at when you got back to the house? They found her body behind a building somewhere, behind a goddamn pawn shop. You gotta have a gate to go, a gate to go through my gate. And let somebody drove her body over there in they car because this camera's right here. It's a pawn shop. They said number guns in these both of these buildings right here. You see what I'm saying? Somebody put her body back there. Somebody did this shit, try to plant this shit on me. I drove off after I left her down the street. She was alive. I gave my gave her phone and everything. You know what I'm saying? But who who by her did she did she fly in from Cali like they saying she did? She flew, she flew, she flew, she, 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 it's her second time coming from Vegas. Like, she stayed in Vegas, but she was staying with me. She moved back from Vegas to stay with me. I'm saying, bro, who would want to do that to her randomly? My ex, no, my ex, I'm telling you, my ex called, my ex them been beefing. They been sitting up here watching my house and everything. My ex and her best friends, they 40, 45 years old. They didn't like my girlfriend. They ain't like her. 
I told the detective everything. I, I let the detective come get my truck. They came and got my truck and everything. They looked in my house. Everything been still the same since we left. There's cameras all around this motherfucker. So they, yeah, so they, so they found her on the other street behind the building. You know, I'd have been there before. Yeah, they found her on the other street behind the building. I didn't never go. You know what I'm saying? It's cameras all around this. Her bees got cameras. The goddamn dog they could have got cameras. Uh, the pawn shop got cameras. I got cameras. That's why I'm still. I had to put, I had to put that thing into a, a whole wrong there. I don't put my hands on no woman, or I ain't never kill nobody. I don't do no shit like that. And the detective said, was you willing to take a lot of tech? I said, yes, I will take a lot of tech tests because first of all, I love my woman. And I said, I don't, that, that ain't even in my bloodline to do no shit like that. You can tell when a motherfucker telling the truth and when a nigga lying. They trying, yeah. they trying to take the lab like you were being jealous or hard because you were talking about another nigga and shit like that. No, she was not. That girl stayed with me. She just moved. Bro, this woman just came back down here. Mm-hmm. This woman just came back down here. This woman was just staying with me. Her, all her clothes and luggage was in my house the same way she lived. I, I was sitting up here. I had my door open the same night that I had put out my truck because I thought she was going to cool off and, 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 and scrub off. You know how you well, you, you say your ex-girlfriend don't like her, bro. You think, bi- think- you think bitches actually kidnapping a motherfucker, killing them, and putting them up? Man, I don't know what the fuck they doing. I don't know what the fuck they doing. I, all I know is she could have had somebody to do something to that girl or, or had somebody watching my house or some shit like that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's too many cameras over here for them not to catch shit on the camera, bro. That's what I'm saying. So eventually they finna come up with the cameras, eventually. Yes, they got them. Mm-hmm. And then they see, the cameras see me park my car. The camera see me going in the house. Then the camera see me the next day. The next day I had to go get some gas and a job to fill my truck up because I go her and drive her to different places. I, I ain't even had no gas in my truck the next day. So I walked to the store to go get some gas and I put it in my truck. Her mama got the call to my but her sister had inboxed me on Facebook and said, uh, call me ASAP, you know. And that's when I know that something went right. So I called her sister phone. I was like, what's going on? She said, where my sister at? I said, I ain't seen your sister since I put her out of my damn truck. She said, why you put my sister out? And she told me, so what time was it? I said, it was 11.30 when your sister started cutting up. I had just took, tried to take her to your mama house. And her mama went there. Her mama lied and said she was going to be there. Her mama was never at the house. You said she was cutting up like she was, y'all were arguing before she got out the car? Uh, we went, we went off and she was just taking a piss of like trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like put her hands on me and type shit like, you know what I'm saying? Like she didn't want me to drop her off. She didn't want to go to church. She wanted to be around me and I was like, hell, nah, I can't, I barely even know her, but, but you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to find out what's the best place to take her to, you know what I'm saying? So I took her to her mama house. That was, that's the only place I really know. Where, where her folks stayed. Was, her mama has the only house that I know uh, her family members and shit like that. She, her mama stay in the east. Yeah, 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 bro, cause that this shit look crazy on the live. She waving her gun, you snatching everything from her, bro. This shit just look crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't snatch no gun from her. You remember she held the little brown joint up? I ain't snatch no gun from her. Now you probably didn't take it, but you rich for it. Oh, nah, I was telling her, whoa, 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 we need to put that joint down. Ah, okay, put it down, yeah. Yeah, that was her, that's her sister, them guns and shit. Man, so, so on the camera, fool, I, when I seen you on the camera, it sound like you was saying, I don't get no fuck, and she was yelling, fool, what was that? What was it, her sister house? When you was in front of the ring camera. I said, I don't get no fuck. I said, I was telling her, I didn't want her. I, I was telling her, like, I'm finna drop you off. Like, you finna get this fuck up out of my car. Cause she was doing too much. And I was like, I don't get no fuck. She was spitting this shit in, wearing all, all type of crazy ass shit. Like, she was acting like a big ass baby. She knew what the fuck she was doing. That's what okay, I'm saying. Okay, she was still drunk and she too. That's why she was yelling. That's why you was saying, come yeah, and get, come and get done when he got my car. Yeah, I got told her she need, you need to get the car. Come on, get up out of my car. That's what I was telling her. Yeah, I didn't. Ah, uh, okay, so y'all pulled yeah. out from there and you went and dropped her off at the house instead of they crib. Yeah, instead of, yeah, I pulled out. And by the time I was close to my house, I was right there on, on summer. Right here, it, I wasn't even 10 minutes away from my house. I was right there on summer. Yeah, 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 I
I just put, I just, I, I opened my door, I reached, I opened the other side of her, I opened my door, and I told her to get the fuck out of my car, she told us, nah, 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 so I said, fuck that, you know what I'm saying, she ended up getting out, because I, I tossed that goddamn phone at her, and I said, fuck that, nah, 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 so she ended up getting out, and I told her to get the fuck out of my car, and I said, fuck that, nah, 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 so she ended up getting out, and I told her to get the fuck out of my car, and I said, it's cameras all around right here, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I can't explain to Facebook because they said they're going to be trying to... A nigga lie, so the police told me just stay the fuck off Facebook, period. Mm-hmm. Right, so, so, so to be real, you still don't know who did it for real. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know, and this on my This on my soul, on my kids. On my life and on my kids. If them folks knew that I did that, them folks, the police would be in my child. Yeah, some woman just posted and said you were locked up. This shit a lie. Hey, listen to me, Aunt. The police just came and got my truck last night. The police detective came and got my truck last night. Hey, listen to me, Aunt. They searched my house and everything. Them hood assholes trying to make it seem like I, I did something that I didn't. I'm not even that type of person. I'm not even built like that, bro. I'm not even built like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I ain't built like that, bro. That's, if you, you got to listen, you got to listen to a person. Vocabulary, how they talk, and if they angry. I'm not angry. But what I am angry about is I don't know what happened to this woman. That's what I'm pissed off about. I don't know what happened to this woman. And the whole time, the next day, I probably was making me some snap videos and flexing on Facebook and shit. Because I'm thinking, I, I'm thinking that my dad over her best friend house or in her sister house from work. You know what I'm saying? Like when she usually get mad, she go go to her sister's house or go go to somebody else's house. Like they can't be sitting there talking about some, his whole girlfriend out here missing, but he out here flashing money on 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 Facebook. And all. That's because I I'm thinking that shit. She was safe. You know what I'm saying? So when you pulled off, you just left with her and just pulled off and didn't call her. Didn't I try- just pulled. I pulled it off and guess what I did? Now, guess what I did? I pulled it off when I got to the house. This is how I know what time I pulled it off. This is how I know what time I, I made it home. Because when I pulled it off, I got the text on her phone. I was like, man, just come. I'm going to text it to you. I was like, man, just come get your stuff. Just come get your stuff, man. I, I, I don't want to do this no more. Tell your, I, I even told her, I said, man, tell your folks come get you. So I never did get a response. I never did get a response. So I told her the text. I said, she got a white phone. I'm, I'm the one that they, how they found her. I said, she has a white phone. I'm the reason why the police found my girl. I said, she has an iPhone. She got a white phone. I told her everything she had on. And they said, okay. So when they left, like 10 to 15 minutes later, they found mm-hmm. So this shit don't need, they, they, they got they got they got it mixed up between a motherfucker that was that loved her and somebody else did something to her. Yeah, they, they got that they got that all twisted up, man. Ain't even like it. You on camera for me? Yeah. Hey. They got you. You want me to tell you where they got you on camera? At? What? When you pulled up at the house and jumped out the car and jumped back in the car and did all that, them folk got all this shit for you. Yeah, I pulled up to the house, jumped out the car, opened my gate, and put my truck up. Nah, bro. This is your baby mama, your ex girlfriend, them house. It was a motherfucker across the street had a camera on the house, bro. They seen you pull up, jump out the car, go to the little black, go to the little black car, jump back in the car, then you pulled off, you went to a few houses down, then you came back, then you looked in the house. You know I ain't lying, fool. Yeah, I, I pulled up at my ex-girlfriend house for a minute to see why they fuck is they watching my house. That's what I had did, because... I told you that the girl, the girl kept on calling my, my girlfriend phone, talking about something that they was going to do to me. So all them right there, and I was like, you know what I'm saying? They ain't come outside, and I pulled off. That, that, that don't got nothing to do with me and my girlfriend with somebody doing to her. That My girlfriend got raped by two dudes. But this what I'm saying. All this happened before y'all even went live, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That don't got nothing to do with my girl getting missed. But them folks saying that you switched the tags, bro. I ain't switch no damn tag. I got my girlfriend when my girlfriend came from Vegas and, and got dropped off in my house. She brought me some drive out tags. I can show you the text message. But what I'm telling you is, bro, they they got it to work. That's the that's the evidence, bro, that you to switch the tags, bro. 
I ain't switch no damn tags on my on my truck no love. I ain't switch no tags on my truck no love. Now look, now that y'all have seen everything, man. Like I said before, it's a sad and unfortunate situation. I'm really ready to find out more details about this. I'm pretty sure they will be coming out pretty quickly. But if not, then you know it is what it is. But this is just the initial video right now. When I do get updates and stuff like that, I will bring them to y'all. And if y'all see something before I see it, let me know so I can give it to the people, man. You know what I'm saying? That's rocking with the channel and stuff like that. But overall, man, I hate that. I hate that that had to happen to her. I hate that the mother is going through what she's going through because of these weird ass dudes. I can't call them in. They just dudes. Anybody out here taking somebody's life for whatever reasons, man, it just ain't what's up in my personal opinion. Real men don't move like that. I know a lot of dudes be finding justifications for taking people's lives, and women do too as well. But I feel like that that ain't what's up at all. You know, every human life. It should, it should be valued. You know, you got to realize that when somebody's life is taken, that's it. Just think about it a little bit more deeper. I think that when people start realizing and analyzing what the hell is really going on, instead of analyzing and realizing it later, they'll chill out, man. You are discontinuing someone's life, bro. And you got to realize that this has a trickling effect on the whole entire family, man. But overall, like I said before, man, the, the family has been in good spirits this whole time. You know, but when the mother come, how the mother is coming... You just, you just, you just know like she know what the hell she talking about. You know what I'm saying? But overall, man, I say what I had to say. I hate that for her, man. I really do. She was like so peaceful right now. The things that she was posting was just so peaceful. But like I said before, I got a live video for y'all to watch. Y'all might want to watch it in its entirety. Go ahead and read all the comments and stuff like that, and maybe you'll get a better idea of what the hell was happening. The dude is in the video, also, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, man, just let me know what y'all feel about this, man. R.I.P. the whole one more time. I want to send my condolences out to the entire family and everybody out there that had a genuine love for her. I hate that this shit had to happen. It's all over the internet. It's all over social media and stuff like that. And I just didn't want to get into it until I figured out what the hell was going on and got more information on the situation. But yeah, that's all I got to say. Y'all let me know what y'all feel, and I'll holler at y'all later on another video. All right. I'm stuck in this camp. I ain't ready to bounce. Light it like a fucking lamp. Has a kite. Them herbs, gotta pull my fucking herbs. Get a swish of Philly to with nothing but the weed good. Hey, what y'all doing for New Year's? Y'all gonna take a drink with me? I'm bad, y'all was drunk. I can't even hear right now. I told him stop for a minute. I said, hell no. I said, love your head. No. I can't even hear right now, man. I can't hear. I got to get my ear right. Now I'm struggling, hustling just to keep my head up. Do you with some hot shit if you want to test up? Hell no. I can't even hear right now. It's too much shit. It's too much shit. Gather round, cause Eastside is bound to clown. Nah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I ain't nothing going on but the money in the pile. And take a shot with your girl, I'm just in your world. I'm just not a squirrel, I don't feel your nuts. I just eat. Mine, hell no. Happy New Year! I got it. Early. I gotta get it in early. Yeah, I was shooting play with though. Remember that? We get game. Off up in weed camp. I ain't finna <laughs> take a pine, sit back, sit a pine. This is how I do my thing. High as hell, can't you tell? Love that off that BUD. Smoking them herbs, can't you see? It's these sad at the. <laughs> Green Bay. I'm going for Green Bay. Look, I got I got ten dollars on Green Bay. I'm going for the cheese, baby. Going for the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tap in, man. Tap in in the major way. Now they playing. I fuck with y'all. Mm. What's up, y'all gonna you, take a shot with me? I'm put you four in there. Y'all gonna shoot the gun with me? Four. I'm put you five in there, hoe. Let you go out there and put you on live. Let you. Yeah, 
boys with the road. Just don't shoot my car, dude. Yeah. I'm not gonna shoot your <laughs> car. You shoot loud at these folks shit you about I to wasn't shooting at them folks, so. No, I did not. Go I, I hit my target. I hit my target. No, the ground right there. <laughs> right there. I saw this spot on the ground. So I'm going to hit this hole up and I hit him. I hit him up. I'm reloading. Mm. Oh, I'm going to hit him up. Off open weed camp. Yeah, I ain't finna take pine seat. Like a pine seat. This is how I do my pine seat. Pine seat, pine seat, pine seat. 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 Pine Cop might get the fucking nine. Catch them sleeping in. Yeah. <laughs> Pass and put them hoes in line. I'm tired of this shit. Pump me to try to sweat the beats. Look clever's what they call me. Make the money, money in my high beat. Got me fresh in the club. Hey, hey, all right. Tell my nigga to tighten up your fucking tight ass. Hey. We bless the fucking mic. Open your ad, close your mouth. When we speak that pimp shit out. When we make them drop it off and lock it in the trunk. We cut you up like sticks and drop you in the ditches. You with us, you testing us. You really could not step. Hey, you with this main shit. When I hit the same bitch, got to get a grain trick on the mic. Same bitch, we hit. Make a move. It's your life. Mm. Win or lose. Pick a true deal race shit. Make you keep your cool. Keep it real. <laughs> keep it true. And never fake deal. You mean how? Mm. Baby, what you do with my phone, baby? I'm a real player. No, with my phone. Charge, right? Somebody yeah. phone on charge. Hey, <laughs> oh. P on the scene. Bitch, I've been looking mean, and I got it for real. Now, I'm never fake the deal. It's New Year's in the beat, and we about to get lit. Hey, who turning up? Take a shot with me, y'all. She got it. She got you. Cash. Hey, y'all. Guess what? I can cuss. Hey, we turned out, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Get what I had did. I stuck it on top of the chomp. <laughs> Ready to shoot? Jasmine, get off my lap, baby. <laughs> Tree, hey, get off my lap, baby. I love her. Love her. Stop playing with me, love her. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> Both y'all look at me. Both y'all look at me. Hey, hey. Hey, hey for real though. For real though. Nah, for real. Nah, for real. I done lost too many people, my. I done lost too many family members where I supposed to be crazy. But guess what? Hey, y'all toast to me. God been good. God been good. You better holler. You better holler for your dollar. Pop your collar on the motherfucker. Hey, 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 I love you too. I know you love mine. You can't do nothing but love a real motherfucker. Mama, pop a collar, bat a dollar, make a all of me city. Hey, I'm in your city. I got the infrared beam. Hey, hey, hey. I got the infrared beam, cuz. <laughs> 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 don't take my shot, cuz that's the problem. I don't play it. A pimp, and you hitting them corners too hard. What is that? You hitting them corners too hard, baby. Let me pull you some stuff. Hold on, hold on. Let me go on drink my yak, baby. Let a pimp drink that yak. You heard me. Give me some bro 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 loud to your I sister loud bro loud pull me this shot Mom, you know my pull up game strong don't play with me jazz 
Jasmine, stop playing with me on Facebook Live, man. My pull up guy is strong, but I, I understood the excitement. I understood the assignment. Jasmine, Ricky, Norris, Norris Road, Norris Road. We live. Get your ass off my lab. I'm finna shoot this pistol, y'all. Cause when the haters start coming in, they well, hey, you pop them things at they. Ass. He had on his shot for the motherfucking holidays. He come for pay. Yeah, I take a toast for me. We finna take a toast. Before the New Year's, cause y'all know we from Memphis, Tennessee, and they already shoot. They was already shooting. And they done shot at our loved ones. But baby, it's Sophia Hong. Willie. Willie. Sophia Hong. Now I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing, y'all. I ain't making no noise, y'all. I'm not making no noise. I've been wanting my baby to go upstairs and shoot some guns. It's gonna be 2024. 2024. And now you're being big. Now you're being big. I'm not gonna even get on them. I'm not gonna even get on them. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Y'all know a lot been going on this year. But I ain't gonna even get on them, y'all. We gonna pray for them. We gonna pray for them that did that and they went there the dead way. Y'all heard me? We gonna pray for them. We gonna pray for them, y'all. The Bible said, Lord, your enemies didn't you death. Didn't it? Didn't it, Willie? The Bible said, Lord, your enemy. Now you know that word. You know I ain't lying. The Bible said, Lord, your enemy. And bless those. Bless those that, you know what I'm saying, mean bad for you. Bless those that, you know what I'm saying, misuse you and, you know what I'm saying. I love y'all. Y'all got to love them. Stop giving. Y'all got to stop giving energy to y'all haters. That's the mess. Cause I'm on live and I'm turned. Look at my nigga. Child can't do it like a real. I'm on live and I'm turned. But guess what? I kinda of still give y'all a word. Stop giving energy to the enemy. Stop giving the energy the enemy. Hold on. Let me take a shot. Let me take a shot because I got my word screwed in. Like wild is wild to birthday, y'all. Hey, rest in peace, Mac Walls. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me go live. I'm going live, and I got to give a GD his credit. GD, why? Give me my phone. Give me my motherfucking phone. Hey, stop playing with me on God. Give me my I got to give a GD that credit, y'all. You better be cool, baby. We cooling. Hey, we just cooling it. We ain't going steady. Hey. Yeah, Hey, y'all see this shit still Man, water, the crew. Pick up. He dead. Hey, he can't dude, come, come pick on you. Hey, look. Now, you can't tell stop saying that. That's our first Hey, Mac motherfucking wild tongue. It's Capricorn season. I'm going to say y'all Capricorns had to really do it for y'all. Capricorn. Hey, hey, I'm in South Memphis. Guess what? I'm in South Memphis with it. And, hey, guess what? Happy birthday, Meg Walls. Hey, Meg Walls, too. On Step in the Pro, happy birthday, Kirk Fam. First, first fam. Hey, first fam on the low. Hey, Meg Walls, too. Meg Walls, too. He's. Taisha said he wasn't playing about that motherfucking Capricorn. See, then TG the P. Then TG the P. Her birthday, January 2nd. 
Martin, I stand for my. Don't play with my motherfucking twin. I'm not insert shit. Tell my twin can't sweat. Tell me and tell your girl. Taser from Fraser, Taser from Vegas, ho. Ain't no Taser from Fraser, Taser from Vegas, ho. Fuck you talking about Taser from Vegas. Yeah, and that stamp there. My and Papa P. Collie, you seen me with the P on yesterday. If you weren't tuned in, you seen I had the P on yesterday. Mine for Vegas, my motherfucking nigga Taser. And that stamp there. Mine, mine, turn up for a real P. 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 A P look good. A P look real good. Nah, we gotta do all that because a P look real good tonight. I'm finna go to church. I'm going to church. I'm going to church. Hey, you can't say them hoes. You gotta go to church. You gotta pop your collar and go to the church on. Oh, happy birthday, baby. Mine. Happy birthday. It's her birthday when I have a birthday, January 2nd. Mine, I ain't playing, man. My P. My own God, that's no, that stepped in. I ain't got no complaints about 2023. 2023 was a baby. We gave our P. Carl. We gave them hoes up. Them hoes were loyal. 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 Them hoes were Them hoes were loyal. 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 Put fat I barely on me. got a top off the You hear me? But a pee puts fat on me. Look. A pee put fat on me. I stamped it. I put that on my Hey, what fab the pee at? What fab? No. A pee put fat on me.